Look at you in your stupid outfit. My father gave me this outfit. And your dad's dead. Get over your dead parents already. Didn't your parents die? Host migration right off the bat. I spawn in, take a step, host migration. All right, what is going on guys? Nova here and today I am bringing you a brand new video and I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I just wanna hop on into the video quickly as this video is beginning because I have some huge, huge, huge topics to talk about. Well, the first two topics are huge and then the, the one that's gonna be based on the title of the video is gonna come here in a bit. I don't know how many of you guys actually stay tuned with the Colt Twitter, but yesterday we picked up two Colt leads that are gonna completely change the name of that team. Hypothetically and metaphorically, not, not literally. Colt will not be changing its name. I, I hope not at least. The two people that we picked up yesterday are really, really strong. They're gonna do great things for Colt and I, I'm really excited to be working under them and I'm really excited to see what they do for the team. Both of them have huge oh, subscriber crazy. counts, large fan bases themselves, and are well respected in this community. The first one that ended up getting picked up yesterday was Spicy Penny. And I'm sure a lot of you guys, not all of you guys, but most of you guys should know who Spicy Penny is because he does a lot of videos with like Gandhi and some other red members. But he is a really, really entertaining, really, really funny guy. And he he just like, I was talking to him a couple times yesterday, you know, tweeting at him and whatnot. And he just seems to be a really down to earth, cool guy. Another pickup, which is actually kind of ironic because I knew that he was going to come back eventually. I, I, I knew it was going to happen. I mean, you know, Colt is just so much better than Red. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most, if not all of you guys, again, should know who the second person that we ended up picking up as co lead is because he's in red. Red Joker. Joker started out in Colt and then went for the underrated players a series when it returned and made a return on Scarce's channel. And he actually ended up winning, which is nuts. What the? That was nuts. That is ironic that I just was gonna, I was gonna say nuts. And that shot was nuts because I wasn't even aiming for him. He just dropped down like he was trying to commit suicide or something. But anyways, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for Colt because Colt is already doing so well. Like we're doing really good. And just picking up these two people is gonna improve the reputation and just improve the team and overall so the main topic for today's video and it's actually it's actually really hysterical honestly as to how much of a baby and how freaking scared i was most of you guys are gonna be able to tell from the title of the video but i actually kind of almost uh had a run-in with the cops today. Now, no, I am not in any way, shape, or form a bad kid. I don't do drugs. I don't do any of that sketchy crap because I'm just a good kid. I like to follow the rules. I like to do what's right. I like to stay healthy. I like to do and make right choices. I don't care what you guys say or think about me. That's just how I am. That's just how I want to live my life. I want to live my life without being in jail. I want to actually actively live my life, be out, about, and free, and able to do whatever I want. I want to go to college and get an education so that I can get a nice, very good job then be able to maybe have a family even. Being a troublemaker is definitely not the road you guys want to take if you guys want to have any of those, honestly. So it was about 8 a.m., 8.05, and I was driving to school this morning, going my same normal path. One day I'm going to do a day in the life, and you guys are going to be able to see, like, kind of the routes that I take and whatnot, and I'm, I'm obviously not going to show you guys where I live or anything like that, because that's, that's fucking, that's creepy. I don't want you guys to know where I live, no... I don't want that. Like, I love you guys, but there are some creepy people out there, and I, I really don't want that to be a thing. So I was just driving, and I was on this uh, this this road that goes right to my high school, practically, and I was just driving, going the speed limit, abiding by the rules, jamming out to some music on the on the radio. But I'm just, you know, minding my own business, abiding by the law, I'm doing, doing my own thing, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there was this guy that just blazed by me. I, I don't even know. Like, this road was 50 miles per hour. And this is my pet peeve. When a road is 50 miles per hour, it is 50 miles per hour. It, that is not a suggestion. That is not saying, oh, we recommend that you go 50 miles per hour. That is the law. That is what you go. You go 50 miles per hour or, or slightly under. Simple as that. But no, dumbass next to me freaking going 70 on this road, which I, 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 I still cannot believe that somebody would be that idiotic. And then all of a sudden from, from behind me, this, 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 this recognizable figure that was a, a, a cop. I keep looking at my rear view mirror because I'm like, oh God, what if he's coming for me? Oh no. As I said, I am a rule 
rule follower. I, I abide by the rules. I live by rules. That's just how I am. I, that's my comfort zone. I, I stay in my comfort zone. I don't try and change that, nor do I want that to change because that's just how I live my life. I respect how you guys live your lives and I expect the same from you guys. I don't really care what you guys think about how I live my life. That's just how I am. You do you, I do me. So, you know, me being the rule follower that I am, you know, it kind of is freaky when you see a state trooper fastly approaching from the rear of your vehicle. This dude was hauling so much ass. I was like, oh shit, I'm about to get pulled over. No, what do I say? Oh no, uh, I'm just gonna be like, officer, I was, I was abiding by the rule. I triple, I quadruple checked the speed that I was going and it was definitely 50. It was right on 50. I'm that guy that just holds my foot on the gas and I go that exact speed. I was preparing for the worst case scenario in this situation. When this state trooper got within five feet of my vehicle, I started to freak so much out. I wanted to cry. I was like, oh no, I'm about to get pulled over. I can't get a ticket. This is not good. And then at the last second before practically almost rear-ending me, dumbass, he turned and switched lanes and got over and proceeded on down the road. I was not about to get a ticket for I had no absolute reason because I know, I sure as hell know, I, I, like I said, I quadruple checked. I definitely was not breaking the law in that situation. I was abiding by the rules and I was just trying to drive to school. But honestly, this really made me mad because I, I felt that that state trooper thought that he owned the roads, which in a way he does because he, he's a protector of the law, which protects the roads. But when you are a state trooper and you're not even going after somebody, you should not be going 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. I don't care if you have the badge or not. Nobody should be doing that. That's just ridiculous. Sadly, there's just some things in life that we can't change and we just have to deal with. But as always, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I hope you guys have a great sales day. Be sure to leave a like and comment, subscribe if you're new. As always, guys, it's Zach or Colt Nova, and I'm out. Peace.